case study fire case gas expansion gas expansion fire case is also termed as unwetted surface of vessel here in this picture we can see there's a liquid spill which has ignited and caused a pool fire during a pool fire the fire and gas detection has detected the fire and activated emergency shutdown of the plant due to which inlet and outlet shutdown valves have closed the exposed surface area of the vessel is estimated in this case we consider there is no liquid in the vessel or if there was any liquid it has already been vaporized and relieved so the entire vessel is full of gas and the exposed surface area of the vessel and connected piping is considered when calculating exposed surface area of the vessel apart from the surface area of the cylinder also include the surface area of the dished ends take note that surface area is based on the outer diameter of the vessel sometimes it is a common practice to include the surface area of the connected piping by means of a 10 to 15% margin on the surface area of the vessel this may be okay for a smaller diameter piping or short length pipings however when you have a larger diameter pipings this may not suffice especially for longer lengths take your judgment if in doubt calculate the surface area of piping separately and add up with the vessel in case you have multiple equipments vessels connected within the same sectionalization and catered by the common relief valve then the exposed surface area the surface area exposed to fire has to be considered for all of the equipments and summed up next we calculate the relieving temperature now since the vessel inlet outlet is isolated and heat is added due to fire it's a constant volume process and ideal gas relationship for a constant volume can be applied to calculate the relieving temperature using this formula where t1 is the relieving temperature p1 is the relieving pressure pn and tn are normal operating pressure and temperature next we calculate c using this formula where c10 is a factor and k is the ideal gas specific heat ratio at relieving temperature the c calculated c is used here to estimate the f dash where c9 is another factor kd is the discharge coefficient typically used as 0.975 tw is the wall temperature of the metal for carbon steel it is 593 degree celsius or 866 degree kelvin t1 is the relieving temperature calculated here using this formula estimate f dash if f dash is greater than or equal to 182 then use this formula to estimate the relief load which is in kg per hours if f dash is less than 182 then use this formula to estimate the relief load in kg per hour c12 c13 are constants m is the molecular weight of gas p1 is the relieving pressure a dash is the exposed surface area of the vessel and connected systems pipings which are exposed to the fire 
and all other factors we have discussed earlier. Once the required relief load is estimated, it is used in sizing equation for vapor service. So the relief valve sizing equation for vapor service is used to calculate the required relief valve orifice size. Except in case the relieving pressure is near critical point or in supercritical state, then this equation cannot be used and M method explained in two phase relief has to be used. Take note that formulas and constants given in this course are based on SI units. If you want to know in USA units, you can refer to API 521 or API 520 part 1 for more details. If you like this lesson, you may be interested in more lessons on role of relief valve in process safety, to identify and evaluate relieving scenarios, to use thermodynamic relations for estimating relieving temperature, design considerations to avoid relief valve operation problems, to estimate flow through an orifice or flow through a control valve, relief valve sizing equations for vapor, liquid and two-phase relief, case study on fire case, case study on two-phase relief, case study on abnormal heat input, case study on tube rupture, case study on logged outlet, case study on control valve wide open, case study on reverse flow, case study on leakage flow, and distillation column relief scenarios. Click on the link given below in the description for free preview of the full course.